While some of our favorite 90s A-listers have been swept off their feet and are keeping busy raising their own next breed of stars, not all of them have found permanent love. Here are some 90s bombshells who are currently single. Drew Barrymore has been single since 2016, when she and her art consultant husband, Will Kopelman, called it quits. Although their romance is long gone, the two have remained on good terms for the sake of their two daughters. When it comes to her own dating life, Barrymore has admitted that she's happy being single. In 2018, she told Entertainment Tonight that she wouldn't be going back to dating apps anytime soon. So that myth of the blind date eluded me, and I always <laughs> wanted to do it, so that was kind of like a dating app for me. But then it's not blind on my side. As for those special days that are seemingly reserved for people in love, Barrymore posted a heartfelt message on Instagram in 2019 for Valentine's Day. The constant love usually has been my kids and my friends. A type of love that does not require a romantic partnership and navigation. I have fought my way to a deeper happiness on my own, and I love being independent. In 2018, Jennifer Aniston once again found herself single following a breakup with her second husband, Justin Thoreau. Shortly after their split, an insider told People magazine that Aniston was, quote, sad and disappointed that her marriage didn't work out, adding, she didn't expect to be single again. She is a big believer in falling in love and spending her life with a partner that loves sharing hers. Then, in February 2019, fans went wild shipping their favorite ex-couple when Brad Pitt was spotted at Aniston's 50th birthday party in Los Angeles. According to Us Weekly, the two embraced in front of the masses, but only as friends. As Aniston told Howard Stern when she stopped by his Sirius XM show, she enjoys being single, adding, I'm very busy. For now, I'm promoting the morning show. I'm prepping for next season. Hey, listen, I just don't like being set up. I don't like it. I hate it. Overall, it appears that Aniston has been putting herself and nobody else first. An insider told Metro in October 2019, She isn't concerned about dating. She is happy to focus on work. She doesn't even talk about Justin anymore. She doesn't keep up with what he does. She is focusing on her own life. In 2019, Sharon Stone is in her 60s and very happily single with the three men in her life. Her trio of sons all live with her under the same roof and she's content with just that. In 2018, she gushed to People magazine, This is a very good period of my life right now. My life is happy. I live in the same house I've had for 25 years, and I feel happy waking up in my house with my kids. We have such a lovely family dynamic. As for the possibility of romance, Stone told People that she really wasn't holding her breath. I think somewhere in the back of your mind you think maybe one day you won't be a single parent. Then eventually you realize, I think it's better. I'm no longer hoping for someone. On the topic of coping with being a single mom of teenage boys, Stone told Us Weekly in 2019, It's extra intriguing when there's no dad. Thank God the two young ones are at camp right now. I've had like two weeks of silence. I feel like I remember me. My 11 and 12 year olds have requested locks for their bedroom doors because the 17 year old keeps coming in and shooting them when they're on the toilet and in the tub. <laughs> Demi Moore has been single for many years after two famous breakups. She split from her second husband, Bruce Willis, in 2000, and then in 2013, she divorced her third husband, Ashton Kutcher. The lead up to her last breakup admittedly prompted her to spiral out of control. In 2012, Moore found herself in a scary incident at a party when she had a drug-induced seizure, subsequently causing her eldest daughter, Rumor, to shut her out of her life. The turbulent year that followed the divorce saw her disappear from the spotlight, but since then, she's been doing much better, even reconciling with her family. A source told People magazine in 2019, She was really struggling mentally and didn't take care of herself. Now she has a beautiful relationship with all of her daughters. Demi feels bad about the years when she wasn't healthy. She really tries to make up for it now. As for her dating life, Moore told the Wall Street Journal magazine in September 2019, Right now, I'm focusing on my relationship with myself. She reiterated that statement on The Ellen DeGeneres Show when asked if she would ever go on a dating app, to which she replied, Oh my God, no, I have seven dogs. Pamela Anderson had a long list of suitors throughout the years, She's also no stranger to shocking the masses, like the time she married Motley Crue drummer Tommy Lee after less than a week of dating. And she's also suffered her fair share of heartbreak. 
In 2017, Anderson met French soccer player Adil Rami at the Grand Prix in Monaco. Rami didn't speak much English, yet Anderson described their romance as having the right body language. Soon enough, the two appeared inseparable, yet the actress had her reservations, which rang true when Rami proposed in 2018, but Anderson fully broke off their relationship. But then the two of them picked things up yet again, with the duo looking totally blissful in June 2019. Shockingly enough, by the end of that month, the couple officially called it quits, with Anderson posting on Instagram that Rami had been unfaithful. As she put it, it's hard to accept. The last more than two years of my life have been a big lie. I was scammed. He used to joke about other players who had girlfriends down the street in apartments close to their wives. He called those men monsters. But this is worse. He is the monster. Carmen Electra hasn't really settled down in recent years, give or take a few casual flames. The former Baywatch bombshell was dating clothing line owner Tal Cooperman in 2014, but their fling fizzled out after three months. She told E! News that year, I've always been in long-term relationships, so you know, this is the first year that I'm actually taking my time and not jumping into anything. I'm happily single. When asked who her perfect guy is, she noted, Obviously, he has to be somewhat of a bad boy because I'm always attracted to that. She confirmed that sentiment a couple years later when she told People magazine in 2016, I still like the bad boys. That's not going to change. Electra had a new mystery man in her life at the time, though that relationship ended by the following year. She told Fox News in 2017, I'm actually single right now, but I believe in love and I think the right person will come my way. I think I'm a little pickier now. I just want the right thing. The right thing may be looking after herself, as 2018 saw her celebrating her 46th birthday while lounging poolside in a blue one-piece bathing suit. Her ex-husband, Dennis Rodman, meanwhile, still wanted a chance to be with her, as he revealed to Page Six, If the opportunity were to pop up today and if I saw Carmen, I would probably ask her to marry me again. Tyra Banks has been enjoying the single life since splitting from her partner of five years, Eric Asla, in 2017. As the duo share custody of their son, York, they decided to end things amicably. Miraculously, they also continued to have a healthy working relationship as Asla was a photographer on America's Next Top Model. As it turns out, Banks has had bigger fish to fry than worry about being single. In 2018, she opened up to Entertainment Tonight about her difficulties having children and ultimately, her decision to have York via a surrogate. As she put it, I don't remember if it was, am I less than a woman? But I remember just thinking, oh my god, I waited too long. Like, why did I do this? Like, why did I do it? Things are better these days, though, as Banks has had her mother, Carolyn London, around to help raise her son. Me and Nana and York, we get in the bed together and it's just like, wow, this is three generations, mm. you know? And we spend so much time together, he now calls us Nana Mama. Along with her ex-husband, Tom Cruise, Katie Holmes was one half of Hollywood's most eccentric couple of the 2000s. After their very public split, Holmes was rumored to have quietly started dating Jamie Foxx in 2013. Perhaps she was more used to Cruz's extravagant displays of affection as she pulled the plug on a romance with the Beat Shazam host six years later. Since then, Foxx was rumored to have rebounded with a new flame who's a few years younger than his daughter. As for Holmes, she's been looking after her number one priority, her daughter. An insider dished to In Touch in 2019, her main focus is raising Suri, whom she's so proud of. Being a mom and an actress is enough for her right now. Of course, she'd like to meet her soulmate, but she's not discouraged. She's not dating right now, but she's not opposed to it either. Katie is living her life. She really is in a happy place. No one needs to worry about her. Alicia Silverstone was married for quite some time, but then in 2018, she filed for divorce from her husband of 12 years, musician Christopher Jarecki. A rep for the actress told Entertainment Tonight that they still love each other and remain close friends and will continue to co-parent their son together. Silverstone and Jarecki have indeed remained close. They might even deserve an award for most amicable exes. In a 2019 interview with Working Mother, Silverstone revealed her desire to have more children. She then added a startling confession. She wouldn't be opposed to asking her former hubby for an assist. As for their breakup, there's no denying the split was rough for the actress at first. She told Redbook in 2018, Obviously, it's heartbreaking. You don't ever think you'll be apart when you get married. 
That said, Silverstone has enjoyed testing out the dating waters, as she also confessed, Yes, I go on dates, and I find it very fascinating meeting interesting, intelligent, different people. I'm super excited about being available and open to whatever's next. Of course, there's tons about it that's confusing. I call my girlfriends and I'm like, what does this mean? Yeah, no, I'm into the vegan part. No, do you want to set me up? But you're having turkey time too, right? No, you know what? I'm having a great time. I'm (laughs) online dating, so I will hook you up. Okay. okay? (laughs) Sometimes relationship troubles are tied to deeper personal problems. Heather Locklear, for one, has spent her recent years in and out of relationships while also dealing with a substance abuse issue. She was at the top of her career when she started battling her inner demons in the mid-2000s. Along with fighting drug and alcohol addiction, she also has a history of allegedly getting physical with her partners, such as in 2011 when cops were called to her then-boyfriend's apartment following a confrontation. One year later, she was hospitalized after mixing prescription drugs with alcohol. In 2017, Locklear was back in rehab for the fifth time. Through a representative, she told Page Six, I am feeling great and I'm taking steps to enrich and better my life. Unfortunately, those steps never happened. Locklear was arrested for domestic violence yet again in 2018, this time for practically biting off a bit of her boyfriend's nose. As 2019 rolled around, she was single again and focusing on her mental health. It looks like things finally may be looking up for her as she celebrated her sobriety that August. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.